Good morning, everybody. One of my subscribers, Chris H., asked me a question this morning in the comments, and since I had just finished the project and didn't have another one started, I was I had the perfect time to uh, go ahead and try to answer his question. His question was, Humble, I've got a couple of cars, and the glass is obnoxious to try to see through. Um, what can I do? Could you help me? Well, yeah, I can help you, because this is a very car that I got from Uncle M many moons ago. And as you can see, he has stylized it. There's, um, and, and you know, when you talk about stylized or anything to do with a person's personal preferences, that is personal preferences. That is, this is what gave them the warm fuzzies and they were happy to do it. Uh, whether it gives you the warm fuzzies or not is neither here nor there. But, so, what do you do if you get a car like this and you like it, but don't like something about it? Well, um, well, there's probably a few things you could do, but let's try something that I had just thought of now that I never thought of before. It might work. Now, we do have the custom shaders patch. Uh, it's not the newest one, and we do have the content manager, and it's not the newest one. I don't want the newest one because it's, it's screwy. But anyway... Let's click on the glass and come on over here. You see that I, I chose the glass. Now, uh, this is what it is. It's called glass. Now, if we come to the little three balls, we'll look at it and go, ooh. Well, it's green, so that's, that's the deal. Now, we could go down here and replace it with something else. Uh, but you'd have to look in here and see what we've got. Now, ah, see this gauge glass? Okay, now let, before we go ape shit, and first of all, I want to give you a little heads up. Changing things this way, 9 out of 10 is going to lock up the computer, so don't flip out when it happens. Uh, there are some adverse things that can happen when that takes place. It can knock out your sound card. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You can end up with serious problems. Uh, well, geez, we don't want to do it that way, though. Well, I understand you don't want to do that way, and I don't blame you. That is not uh, necessarily the best thing. How it knocks out your sound card is beyond me, but I have actually had to call RescueCom many, many, many times when I'm working on cars, especially a couple years ago when that would happen, and it would knock out my sound card. and We would have to delete the drivers from the in turns deep in the bowels of the computer and then uh, shut off the computer and restart it and Windows would replace the drivers for it. And it is a process and a little spooky. Uh, but it does give an enema to your sound card. Um, not a good idea. Okay, so we're going to try to avoid that. But um, in lieu of that, let us remember that gauge glass. You remembered it. All right, well, come on. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay. We're going to get out of here. And we're going to... Whoa, mouse. My mouse just locked up on me. Ah, uh, don't tell me this. Come here, mouse. Come here, bud. Okay, let's take a look at where we are. Okay, here we are at the stylized deal. Humble, where the F are you? All right, all right. Hang on, I know. I, I tried to set this up in advance. Okay. There we are at Assetto Corsa in Steam Apps, okay? Double-click it, come to Content, and as you'll see, I have a ton of garages. You can have quite a few garages, and I do suggest that you do that because if you get over 100 and something cars in Assetto Corsa, you end up with problems. So this is what we're working on today, and here's the car right here. All right? Now... We go to the texture folder, and we're able to get in here and take a look at what we've got. So let's remember it was uh, gauge glass right here, okay? Well, what's it? Tell us, Humble. Well, I'll show you. First of all, what we're going to do, hang on, hang on. Gauge glass and regular old glass, we're going to highlight, and we're going to copy these. Now, stick with me. It's not that bad. We're going to paste them here on the desktop, and we're going to separate them so that they aren't connected together, and then we end up doing both at the same time. Well, now what do we do? Well, actually, you're pretty well fucked right now if you don't have 
a program to open these up so you can see them. So we have to go to all desktop programs, open it up, and now we will come to a DDS converter, all right? This is what we need. So we're going to do the DDS converter. It's going to ask us what do we want to convert, and I want to convert the gauge glass. So we open it up, and we hit uh, convert. I would like that. And it did it. Okay, so now we get to actually see what does the gauge glass look like. So we come over here and we edit it. It's this little, let's get it big enough you can actually see it. That's at 800 times. What it looks like is, a, it actually looks white, to be honest with you. It looks snow white. Okay, now just to show you the difference, we're going to do the other one. Now set this little bugger somewhere over here okay now we're gonna again first of all make sure that everything's copacetic all right gauge glass okay let's try them again this time we're gonna add the regular old glass okay bing convert now you can make a JPEG, a PNG, a bitmap, or a TIFF, whatever they are. But we're going to, for sake of it being easy, we're going to use this. Convert. Ah, now we see where the bear shit in the buckwheat. Okay. Now we go to edit. And we've got this little tiny green bastard right here. All right. Now, I've tried in the past to come over here and edit these colors. Boy, does that fuck the whole dog. I'll tell you that. I have not had any good fortune doing it that way. But, since we know this much so far, we know that the regular glass is green. Humble, we could have looked at the car and seen that. I understand that. That's beside the point. I'm trying to show you why things are the way they are so you'll know how to fix it, okay? So, the best way I would tell you to do this is like this. Since we know the gauge glass is clear, and we know that the uh, grass glass is green, okay, why don't we just rename the gauge glass glass and call it a effing day? Ha <laughs> ha, that sounds good. Will it work? Well, it's about to find out. So let's come back over to wherever the fuck we were. What are we, at two of these? No. That's where we want to be, okay? Now, this is the, cont the the textures folder. See it right up here, textures? But what we want... Now, you don't want a monkey with us right off the bat. And as a matter of fact, it would never hurt you to make a folder over here, all right? Folder Rooney. Just call it new folder. We're going to save both of these. So if we F it up, we haven't done a lot of harm to ourselves. We've got them on there. I understand. I'm trying to show you something. Oh, fuck a duck. Grab these sons of bitches. See that? Get over here. Climb into that fucker. All right, now open this son of a bitch up. And copy these fuckers. Or whatever, files. They're not fuckers, they're files. All right, get, get yourself a nice piece of white real estate so we don't put it inside of something else. And paste the bastards back in there, okay? Whew. I didn't tell you it was necessarily without steps. All right, now come on. Let's do something else. Let's come on over to the skins. Let's grab the purple one because I happen to be on it right now. All right. Now this is the easiest and the safest way I know how to do this without effing the dog. Okay. So what we see the gauge glass, right? We like that. Okay. Slap him in here. Now come over to the regular old glass and we're going to rename it. Okay. Control C. Now we come over to the gauge glass, and we rename that Control V, glass, okay? Now let's go back and grab the purple skin. We'll go into the showroom, and we will behold... Uh, today would be nice. A car with beautiful clear glass that now you don't have to fuck with it you can actually see. Now, how's that grab you? Yay! You're liking it, huh? You're liking it. But what happens if we change to a different skin, Humble? We get uh, green again. 
Boom. Well, that means you would just have to put every one of those in there so you get nice, happy glass. You liking it? Now, was that hard? That was not hard. And you did not hose your whole program, and Uncle M will not take you out back and spank your ass for monkey with his cars. Because you could say, but Uncle, look, your night blue. Oh, well, okay, I see. You did not over monkey with my car. All right, well, he's a nice guy, and um, so <laughs> we're going to have a little fun. So fuck it, let's take this bastard out for a drive. Boy, this thing is really giving me the hairy bulls, ball swack. I don't want a race. Just give me a, a hot lap of Rooney. Okay, and we don't want the purple yet. We want to do the night blue so you get to see what it's like. Now, this is 1080p, so bear with me. Shit's a little different than I'm used to. I actually can almost see. <laughs> that is a friggin' treat. Usually I'm staring at stuff like I'm trying to jerk off a centipede, which I don't think would be a good idea. I, I you probably could end up in hell for it, too. Or the Greenpeace guys would definitely hang you by the neck until dead. I think they're into centipedes. So anyway, as we uh, meander through this load screen, I get to visit with you a little bit. Um, my God, I was trying to find the cars that he was having problems with, was a Peugeot and, um, a Dodge Challenger, but of course I have no idea which Challenger. So let's take a look at... Do we have sound? We have sound. Okay. Let's just jump into the car and see what happens. And it's raining. And we got... Oh, it was raining. Oh, I realized that we don't have wipers, so the rain stopped. Okay. And Michael, if you're with me, which you may or may not be, that, I'll, I'll show you how to do that too. So how do we get those to work in custom shaders patch? Say, well, humble man, I can see. What the fuck? The green glass ain't that bad. Nice sound mod, ain't it? Um... Uh, Maybe not so nice. Not terrible. It's old school. See, Uncle M told you the green glass was going to be good for you. And you were going to like it. Alright. Give me a comparison now. Bear with it. It takes a moment. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. It's acting a little weird. All right, now we go from the night blue to the purple. Okay, now we go back to go. We're going to see if the bears did shit in the buckwheat and try not to step in it. All right. Does this really work? Or are you uh, taking us out back for a story? No, I'm not doing either of so such things. I'm trying to answer a question the easiest way I know how. But I'm going to show you the harder way, too, so stick with me if you really want to get exasperated and go ape shit. That may not have been your plan for a Sunday morning. It isn't mine either, so let's hope for the best. Okay, now we got this beautiful purple one that we'll just jump right in. I didn't think it was this light. Didn't it look like it was nighttime before? All I did was just change the car. So, in other words, that green glass made it look like nighttime. Holy shit, looks like a fucking dog fight, this guy. Man, those things are shooting off all over the fucking place. But notice one thing. This is fucking beautiful. You can see like a champion. What do you think of this shit? This is nice, ain't it? It's perfectly clear. There's not even a bug turd uh, stuck to the glass. Yes, but it's it's very unrealistic. I can't tell it's actually glass. It looks like a fucking simulator. It is a fucking simulator, you knucklehead. And it's simulating that we can actually see. Yes, but no, the the graphics look strange to me. Ah, uh, your fucking ass looks strange to somebody else, too. So don't bend over for nothing. Anyway, let's, uh... You can, you can see, though, now our problem is solved. At least as far as this is concerned. Well, what do we do if we're not trying to fix this car? Ah, I thought you would never ask. <coughs> Hang in with me. I know, I've just canceled the sucker myself. All right. 
So what do we do with a case like this? Well, let's go see what else we got. There's the Impala 409, and let's take a quick peek at that in the, in the, uh, whatchamadooly here. Your Dracula tram. Or, now, let's see. As you'll notice here, we have a slightly different color window. This is glassier window for you simulator freaks. Ooh, now I can actually tell it's fucking glass. Before, it didn't look like anything. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, if you want this glass, it would be just as easy to swap it out. But you gotta have a car that has the fucking texture, or you're screwed. That's all there is to it. You're, you gotta have the physical... Why am I pointing with my finger? You can't see that. You have to have the physical... You, Man, that's a shitty looking paint job. But anyway, you have to have the physical glass in order to do it. So I highly recommend, and as a matter of fact, I recommend my ass. I'm going to box up both of these cars and put them in the, uh, on Mediafire for you. And no, you don't have to worry about viruses on friggin' Mediafire. I pay $45 a year so you don't have to sweat that shit, all right? Are you liking it? You should be liking it. And I do this not only for me, but for you. What happened to the other car, Humble? Just bear with me. I want to take a look at this little bastard right here. Let's go to the showroom. Because I wanted to do one of these and I forgot about it. Then I just remembered today. So let's take a look at what we got for glass. This has nice glass. But do you see these fucking things? They are a pain in the frickin' balls. I don't really care for that shit at all. Of course, you can see that actually... It's farther down on the outside than the inside. I might have fucked with it. Because <laughs> I don't like that shit. I mean, what the fuck? I'm not driving an army tank. I want to drive an effing car that I can actually see. At my age, you need all the help you can get. Um, cute little bastard, but all right. And it's got this on the side, but this isn't going to help us. We're off on a fucking rambling trail. Okay, let's get out of here and pick. Where's that little bastard? That's as close to one of these fuckers as I can get is right here. Now let's hope it's got buggered up glass so we can help you fix it. Um, it's dark, but it's not horrible, and I don't see it streaked with bug shit, which irritates the shit out of me. It's realism. I don't give a flying F what it is. Oh, but see that fucker up here? See this piece of shit? How would you like to actually be able to see the stars as you're going down the road? How could we do that? I'll show you. Watch. First time you left-click with the mouse, you're going to get this. Next time you left-click with the mouse, you're going to get that. What is that? It tells you. It says windscreen. See that? This whole effing thing is a giant windscreen. Both sides and this part. Yeah. Well, what happens if we right-mouse-click, we get a square thing in the back? Let's try this. Now we got a, a fucking pit base. Let's go back in here and try a right click a Rudy. Oh, that fucked that up. Hang on. Let's try this again. Outside windows. Ah, windscreen DDS. Okay. Let's take a peek a Rooney at that thing. All right. Well, uh, you can't see Dookie because it's so small. But you can see that it is not just one singular piece of stuff. It's a whole bunch of shit. And it could be a real piss or monkey with, right? Uh, well, why the fuck can't we just take the, uh, it's called windscreen DDS, right? We just found that out, and this is what the bastard looks like if we find it in the textures folder? Yeah. Well, what happens if we close this, and we come over here, and we... Go windscreen DDS and go control C and we back out of here. Yeah. And we back out of here and we go to gauge glass right there. Or we can open our folder and find gauge glass right here and rename the some bitch. Watch. Parent windscreen. Yes, I see that. Now we'll copy this. Copy, and we'll come over to, now here's where it's going to get interesting. We don't want to put it in this car. We want to put it in the little, uh, wherever the fuck it is, this thing. 
and we'll pick a skin. And since this is easy, it's at the top. Ah, windscreen. Get out of here. I don't want you. Let's put this one in there. Bear. Now we'll go take a look at it again. And we do have the one picked. And we'll go into the thing and take a look. Now look what we got. It's uh, hard to tell it to the damn thing, doesn't it? Well, aha. No, it doesn't. From inside the car... Um, uh oh, don't fuck with me. Okay, uh, I think, I think it did work. It did, definitely. It did, look, see this? Here's, here's the edge of it, right under the wiper, all right? So naturally you wouldn't see the whole wiper, but if you come in here, you can not only see the whole wiper, but even beyond it. So we did correct our vision problem, Although it's retained its nice look from the outside. Now, as you can also see, we also got the full visual out the side windows, way up even up into the fucking place up into there. So we gained everything. We gained this, which is a window, that which is a window, so we can see like a fucking champ now, which we couldn't have before. But I, what I really dislike about these things is these fucking chairs. These sons of bitches, uh, oh, they'll keep you safe. I'll oh, keep you safe, my fucking ass. You can't see shit. You're stuck tunnel vision looking straight out the front. Well, you'll wait for the announcer to tell you, Humble, there's a car coming up on the left side. I, what the flying fuck? What if he gets up to take a piss? Then I don't know who's out there. All right, well, anyway, uh, you're fighting with reality. Yeah, well, fuck it. I hope I win. So that's how we can fix that son of a bitch. Yes, but will it work with another car? <laughs> let's take a look here. Let's pick a good one. Uh, what? A ah, let's pick this little Pujmai. Let's go in here and take a look. All right, ha ha, we've got dark glass. Yes, we certainly do. All right, we've got dark glass that could be a real pisser. So we're going to click on it. This is mysteriously named Window. And that's what it looks like. All this fucking monkey business, okay? Well, let's see if we can do the same thing. We're going to come over here, and we're going to just grab Window, Control-C, okay? We're starting to catch on to this and almost getting actually excited. All right, there's Windscreen. Remember him? Well, what if we name him Window? Control V. All right. Now we come over here. Ah, the old windscreen. And I forgot which friggin' car we've got. Ah, uh, it was a Peugeot. Oh, well, let's grab this Peugeot and go to skin one. Ah, Window. Oh, fuck. You know what I just did? Remember I dragged that son of a bitch off onto the corner? I just put that fucker... Err, mammy. All right, well, this ought to be a real abortion. W-I... Well, just change the name, fuck it. Slap this in there. Now, what do we got? This should be interesting. This is a number one of the Peugeot 308. All right, let's go make sure that we are even at that. We are, and we did pick it, and we're going to go take a look now, and it should be all fucked up. Is it? Yes. We got these big orange fuckers stuck all over the place. <coughs> yeah, I know. No, I know. It. It's, that's nasty. Yeah, but we could go outside and drive it. It just looks like shit from here. All right, that's a bad thing. Oh, mammy. I got to get some breakfast, too. But that's not for right this minute. Okay, let's go in here and get rid of this piece of shit. Because that's obviously no good. Delete. Bam. Now let's come over here and get windscreen. Copy. And get out of here. And paste it and go window. Well, you fucker. Why... Oh, no, I just cornholed the sound. 
Hang on, I'll be back, guys. What the fuck is it? All right, now it ain't buzzing. Well, that's a way to fix it if you fucked up your machine, just like I did. All right, now where the hell the fucking bear in the buckwheat shit? Now, wait a minute, what the fuck? Still looks horrible. What? So, I missed something somewhere. I got rattled. Come here. Get out of here. Where is that piece of shit? Well, there's the reason. Windscreen. Click the fucking thing and write rename. Caught it? Window. W-I-N-D-O-W. Very important that it's named what the thing's looking to find or it doesn't it's say piss on it. I'm looking for something else. I wanted a hamburger, not a fucking kibasi. Ah, but look what we got now. A beautiful, clear windscreen that you can actually see out of. And that is the easiest way to end this video because... What the fuck's wrong with it? Look at his fucking handle and shit in here. All fucked up. Look at it. You can see through it. So much made out of glass? Well, this side works. But this side doesn't work. Ah! Is that fucked up enough? It's not double-sided. That's a fuck-up in the manufacturer himself. <clears throat> Pardon me. That chair looks a little fucking bizarre, too. Well, you know, this 3D editing, is. It, there's a little more to this crap than meets the eye, but take a look at how that fixed... Ah, uh, Xbox 360. All right. But that fixed uh, the problem. Very easy, and it's very not able to fuck up your machine. All you have to do is simply swap the glass out. Now, by putting it in the, the uh, skin folder rather than the texture folder, you really retain the actual car happy. So you don't have to worry about, uh, I wish I hadn't done that to my car because now I've, uh, you know, bastardized the fucking thing. But would it work humble if you did put it in the textures folder? Ah, the old ask me another effing question deal. All right, well let's t let's try this. Uh, let's grab window, copy, and go to the textures. Oh, but how about we can't find it? Yeah, no shit. You know why you can't find it? Why? <laughs> because you need another program. Now I'm just gonna slap this in here, paste it, get in there. Okay, now we know what we got. You uh, Look, oh, these are good flames. Okay, well. How do you know? Well, you come over here and you take a look. Extra large. See these big flamey flames? That's that's how you know. And you got little wimpy fuckers, too. But that's that's how you know you got good ones. And display on and display off is not the clapper. It has to do with the fucking flames, I think. So anyway, we're fucked on the textures folder? Not necessarily. Let me show you what you do. First of all, this is going to be a very evasive thing, and you're going to need to set yourself up with another folder. So come on over here and make a folder. All right, folder. Call it um, Fuckstick. Just because I thought so. Now come over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to leave the KN5. See this? This is the master blueprint of the actual car. And we're going to come down here to grab this, and we're going to come down here and grab all these, and we're going to put them in fuckstick. <coughs> Don't worry about it. Here's the reason why we're doing that. Okay? Oh, my fucking mouse. What is wrong with this motherfucker today? Come on, mouse. What the fuck? The whole thing just froze on me. You dirty bastard. All right. Mouse. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Excuse me, guys. Sunday. I shouldn't be cussing. We need another program. We do? Yes, we do. And it's an easy little fucker, and I'll make sure you get this too. It's called a KN5 converter. Slap it in there. See why we left the KN5? It's pretty tough to convert something if you haven't even got it. Well, Humble, isn't it difficult to use this? It's as difficult as a double click. Watch. Parent, parent. And this little fucker goes rooting around, sniffing <laughs> to find what it's looking for. And it's quick. It found it. Press any key, and you're happy as a mouse. Now take this little bastard back out, because he's done his job. Now if we sneak up here, we're going to see a textures folder with a ton of shit in it. Woohoo! This is the part that's really exciting, guys, because now... What was the name of that fucker we were looking for? Wasn't it Window? 
Ah, right here. Mysterious window. Now, if you want to keep the window, but you don't want it to show up in here, you can rename the thing. Rename it to, uh... Harry Moosecock. But it's too much to, to write, so I'm just going to write Harry. Okay, Harry. It doesn't know the difference. What the fuck? It, it'll never look for it. So let's come over here. That's Fuckstick. Hang on. Get out of Fuckstick. Go to the new folder where we can find window. There he is. Copy. All right. Now slap him right in there. Uh, paste. Yay, he's back. So instead of looking for Harry, he's going to find window in the textures folder. What does this work? Well, we're about to find out. So now put your KN5 unit. Um, aha, wait a minute. Fuckstick. Yes, we, we do need to do a few things or the car ain't going to launch. Number one, drag this out onto the desktop and remove all these extra folders. These are things you do not need. They just bloat the shit out of it. Look at the numbers over here on the uh, Kelebiters or whatever they are. Boot these fuckers. You don't need them. But you do want the original unit back, and we ought to open fuckstick and um, come on over here and snag all this shit and drag it back to where it once belonged. Now we got an actual car that's going to work, and we can use this folder on another day. So everybody's happy, but it wouldn't have ran without these goodies, so that is a very important thing. Come on over here. Back to the original unit. Now let's pick a different color car. So we know we don't have the very same uh, scenario. So let's come on over and take a look. All right? Ooh, it didn't do a fucking thing. Isn't that amazing? Are you sure? Sure. We go to the number one skin. Bink! Instantly different. Well, what the fuck, Humble? Yeah, no shit. What the fuck, Humble? There's a very good chance that that window was in that red and white skin. And the only way to find out is... To go to the red and white skin, and it, we don't see shit. Hmm. Wasn't that a fucker? Well, it is a fucker, but what if we go to one and grab window, and we go copy, and we come back, and we go to three, and we slap the fucker in there. Paste. Parent. This forces it to do it. It may not like it, but like a child... You're going to eat your green beans, son. Oh, I don't like green beans. Eat the motherfuckers. All right, all right. All right. And then you end up with it. So come on and check. Now we've got a happy glass. So that should take away any uh, wonderings if this works or if it doesn't work, because it does work, and that's the best way to do it. So this is we'll end this little teaching video before I just babble on like an idiot for longer due to the coffee and the fact that it's fun to have somebody to talk to. The mouse is good, but he's not as convergent as you guys are right now. Dead silent. So, <laughs> in any event, uh, I hope that answered the question, how do you fix glass and how do you do it? You're going to need two programs. Um, you're going to need the KN5 converter. And unfortunately, there's no way around it. You're going to need... The DDS converter. Now, you're, I don't know where you're going to find one of these sons of bitches. This is just a, um, well, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I put all these th things on Mediafire for people who want to do this type of stuff. You've got an easy-to-convert PSD. The PSD is, is usually the main drawing of the car that shows you where it's laid out. And so if you want to do a skin, the PSD is, uh, has to do with it. The PNG is a different file uh, structure. It's just like a JPEG. And you're not going to be able to open one up unless you have these. So these things are all by easy to convert. They're freeware. You can get it on uh, the Internet. If you'd rather go fetch it and try to, to avoid viruses, good luck, because sometimes you get parked and, and it's not cool. But uh, these are some of the things that you need. You need the DDS converter, and you need these bastards, and you need this. And you get them, and you're good to go for this type of stuff. Remember. Without it, uh, particle effects. That's where it is. <laughs> Would I have ever thought to ask? Fireworks. Michael, if you're still with me, which I doubt, I think you watch about three seconds of the thing just to say you were there and then book. 
but that's I understand that. Anyway, particle effects, which I couldn't remember to tell you, this is the deal. Obviously, first of all, they've got to be activated. You ain't going to get dookie anyway with the extension. I used to get ass kick and smoke, but now it's all fucked up. I don't know what happened to that. That's a real pisser. Maybe it's because I'm not drawing particle shadows. Uh, who the fuck knows? All it takes is one checkbox and you're screwed one way or the other. Limit for particles. Fuck that. Give me every particle known to man or beast. Uh, fuck it. Spawn rate. Spawn the fuck out of it. I probably just jacked myself down to about three frames per second. <laughs> but as Michael pointed out, it's nice that it turns the shit blue that you fucked with it in case you totally hose it. And um, if you do like I do often, you can always hit reset and it immediately goes back to happy. But new smoke and dust. New smoke and dust? Use co what the fuck? No wonder I ain't got dookie. What's this shit? Fuck the culling. All right, we got to see if we can lay rubber. Now, fuck it, I want to see a big cloud of ass rubber. But this is how you do it. Fireworks, you have to activate it, and then the behavior is, does it want to be at night? Do you want to have always on, only on holidays after a finish, on holidays after a finish, or at night after a finish? So I put on active at night, okay? And this is how many of those fuckers fly around and all the goodies, rendering mirrors, you want to see that shit. Uh, we don't need brighter breaks and all. Well, we could have it, but let's go just now. We got to pick a car that's going to lay some fucking rubber, and I want to see smoke. I'm talking big ass, honest to God, smoke. So let's go to something that kicks ass and takes names. What's the problem with this? Nothing. Oh, it wants a partner. It can't have one. Piss on it. So let's, uh, I want to lay rubber. What the fuck? Let's go to, uh, that ain't going to do it. That'll do it, but this will definitely do it. Oh, come on. Let's go take this out and uh, jack it up to a reasonable time of day and just fucking smoke the piss out of them tires. I want to see it smoke. And then we're going to go, because this is a long video, but I hope you don't mind me rambling on. I know the, the language does go south, so it is definitely, I usually have to check that thing, not for uh Anything under uh, 50 or 60 years old are allowed to watch it because it might offend you. And if you're offended by what I say, then it's, you know there's that one little button. Just pop that sucker and go watch Captain Kangaroo. There you go. I wonder about that guy. But anyhow, here we are. Sounds like we could probably get rubber out of this. Any setups anywhere? It would say. All right. Now up to 100% turbo. Now just because it's 100% turbo, don't mean you have to lay rubber. But I'm just barely breathing on the uh, on the accelerator pedal. In fact, I'm in neutral, as you can see, I'm in neutral right now. We're just going to come right around here. And I'm going to sneak through. Nah, I don't want to dirty the, the tires. I don't need all that. Why in the hell the uh, idle is as high as it is right now? I, I don't know, but this is, I don't know if this is worth it, but we're going to do it anyway. Nice part about our tracker is, well, maybe let's get centered on this a little bit better than we are. There, you come on, try it again. Whoa, Billy, whoa! All right, fourth gear, 100% turb. Do it. Third. Ah, it's 
still see smoke. This is a good sign. Now, if anybody says, and I've heard this too before, I, I don't know why somebody would think it is, but they do. Well, you realize Humble George is just manipulating the video. His cars really do not go that fast. He just puts it on about four times high speed so that when you're watching it back, it simulates actually going fast. Fuck you! With a big rubber uh, sponge, I got news for your ass. You're full of shit. That is total horse shit. My cars are as fast as what you see, and I am not bullshitting you. One iota. See that fucking rubber? Watch this. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we didn't hit anything, but let's go back to the rerun and take a look at this. So if that ought to wipe the smile off your face, or put one on. Yeah, squonk built. Vito Fernandez, 10-cylinder fucking Viper engine in a fucking Corvair, and it breathes through this nozzle coming out the back. Uh, it's, it doesn't really work. Uh, fuck you, it doesn't really work. Of course it doesn't work, but it looks cool as hell. And, oh, that looks like it came off the hood of a fucking Roadrunner. It did. I find parts all over the place, massage them, and it takes hours to do, too. Check that shit out. That thing is fucking awesome. I had to have a little fun with you. You know, the teaching videos are good and all, but... Fuck stick, where are you going? Oh, I'm not there yet. That idle is a little high. Uh, it is a little... Yeah, I thought I was going to get in the dirt a little bit by accident. Look at that chrome, though. Holy shit. flames too, except they could angle a little better. Alright. So we're the bear shits in the bottom. Remember it wouldn't do it in fourth? <laughs> 